This is Leonidas leonurus, lion's tail or dagger, and it's from South Africa, and it's used for medicinal purposes where it gets the name of dreamweed. However, it also makes a fascinating and unique flowering perennial plant. As far as medicinal uses, it's traditionally used to combat headaches, flu and hypertension. However, it's as a garden plant that we use lion's tail. This is a summer flowering plant, orange flowers on tall stems. It flowers over a long period. Woody stems hold the flowers upright. Over time, the plant develops a woody base with the new growth being softer. The orange flowers appear in whorls around the stem. They attract bees and nectar seeking birds and are a standout color against the deeper green foliage and the foliage is the plant that's used for these medicinal purposes. In cooler climate zones, this plant will die back and suffer leaf burn in the winter months. In warmer climates, it won't die back as much and it can flower for longer periods. This is a plant that requires good drainage and if you're in a colder climate, the wet soils and the cold climate can lead to real problems and death of the plant. Lion's tail will grow well in coastal conditions and in the right climate it can reach over six foot two meters in height and spread to around three foot one meter across. The warmer the climate the longer the flowering period. It's regarded as drought tolerant, it has very few pest or insect problems and it's also said to be deer resistant. You can prune away the spent flower heads and this will help encourage a second flush of flowers. You can also prune the plant back very hard each year, usually in spring, and simply cut it back to around 6 to 12 inches above the ground, 15 to 30 centimetres. Pruning will also encourage a more bushy growth habit. The seed heads that form after the flowering can be prickly and irritating. And this is a plant that can self-seed so deadhead after flowering to prevent this if required. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for regular updates on a whole range of garden plants and as always, good luck with your gardening.